Now, some of the biggest headlines in India vis-a-vis -vis Iran in the recent years have had to do with the Port Chabahar, the first phase of which was inaugurated barely two months back. No mean feat given the challenges involved. The question now is, can India insulate its strategic investments in Iran from fluctuations in American policies towards that country? Vyan's Ramesh Ramachandran finds out. It's a question worth asking. In the past, India had to restructure oil payments to Iran because of the United States sanctions. Consequently, oil imports took a hit, trade suffered, and with it, India's ties with Iran. Already, one is hearing a heightened rhetoric from Washington. President Donald Trump is reluctant to honor the Iran nuclear deal reached in 2015 among Iran, the five permanent members of the United Nations Security Council, Germany and the European Union. India's transport and shipping minister Nitin Gadkari believes that any deterioration in the US-Iran ties will not affect work on the development of Jabaha port. In fact, he remains optimistic that the port will become ready for operations by December this year. India and Iran first agreed to develop Chabahar in 2003, but the US sanctions against Iran delayed the construction of the port. Chabahar is located less than 200 kilometers or 100 nautical miles from Gwadar, a deep sea port in Pakistan's Balochistan province. It is seen as a counter to Gwadar, which was built with China's assistance. The controversial China-Pakistan Economic Corridor links Gwadar with China's Xinjiang province through a network of roads. Gadkari's Iranian counterpart shared a similar view during his recent visit to India. I show from ours uh, that uh, certainly we are committed to the GCPOA, GCPOA and also I'm uh, very optimistic that the other uh, parties are committed to this uh, agreement. As you know that uh, yesterday that we have announcement from the European uh, uh, Ministers of Foreign Affairs. So uh, although there is uh, some propaganda from the uh, U.S., uh, but however, uh, so far you are saying that the other five uh, countries are committed. So I don't think that the U.S. can go alone. So I think the U.S. Uh, should follow the uh, consensus of the world. President Hassan Rouhani of Iran inaugurated phase one of the Chabahar port project in December last year. India attaches strategic value in developing the port not only in terms of enhancing connectivity with Afghanistan and beyond, but also to counter the Gwadar port leased by Pakistan to a Chinese company for 40 years. The India-Iran strategic collaboration extends to the development of railway infrastructure and sale and industrial production of locomotives too. An Indian state-owned company, Irkon International, has completed feasibility studies on building a railway line worth 1.2 billion US dollars, linking Chabahar with Zahedan, which falls on the proposed International North-South Transport Corridor, and a $60 million deal for sale of 200 locomotives to Iran, which will entail setting up of a manufacturing facility in Iran going forward. Ramesh Ramachandran, Vion.